Welcome to lesson three. This lesson should be pretty short. We're just going to learn how to add new levels to a game. Saving as lesson three. So the first thing we need to do is we'll need to change our win object because obviously you can't go to the second level if you end the game on the first level. So remove that. You can keep the win message if you want. Now we'll go to main one and drag go to next room action in. You can pick a transition if you want. There's lots of cool built-in transitions. Click OK. And we need to add a new room for the second level. So just put in whatever stuff you want. So let's run it and see what happens. We go through the first level. You win. Here's the second level. You win. But now we have an error. Fatal error in action number two, moving to the next room after the last room. This means that you're trying to go to a new room, but there's no new room to go to. Basically, that there's no room after your second level. So one thing you could do is you could add another level, but then after the third level, that error would pop up, and it would keep going, so on and so on. There's another way to fix this, which is using an if statement. Go to the purple octagon that says check next. If next room exists, you'll go to the next room. Otherwise, you won't do anything. So let's see how this works. So it works as normally for the first level. For the second level, it keeps popping up you in because it's looked at the if statement that we see here. And it knows that there's no room after the second room, so it's not doing this go to next room action. But we want it to do something other than just display the message. So we can go to control drag the else block in, and then drag the end game back in. So if we hit the last room, then we'll end the game instead of going to another room. Good. So it works like we programmed it. And that's about it for this tutorial. For the next one, we'll be doing how to add sounds.